what we found, and, and we were well on the way of coming up with my IT before we actually did this 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 um, study with Forrester. But what happened was, once we did this study with Forrester, it caused us to get even more excited about what we were doing with my IT. It, it, it helped validate the idea that we were headed in the right direction with my IT. And, and this idea that we really wanted to transform the end user experience with an application. And so what we did was we said, okay, we have to embrace all of the new business realities in the marketplace. We have to think about things like um, being able to do native applications that can take advantage of all of the capabilities that may be in a mobile device or in a uh, you know, even in a laptop now that we can do more things with location awareness and things of that nature. It, it caused us to think about just how we lay out and do things. So we started looking at applications like, you know, Walmart.com or Amazon or eBay or, you know, just I could go down and down the list. Um, I mean, I don't know if any, I don't know if you use an iOS device. I have, of course, an iPad, an iPhone. I have multiple iPads, an iPhone. My wife has an iPhone. My daughter has an iPhone. My other daughter has an iPhone. I'm pretty much, a, you know, I guess a, I should own Apple stock at some point. But um, I've never known of an application I've ever downloaded or that um, that my wife or family have ever had to download that I had to teach them how to use. And so we had to use those same paradigms when we started developing my IT from that perspective. Um, so again, our changes, our drivers for the change is we want to look for increased productivity. We want to begin to unlock the value of the mobile enterprise, which I think you'll see from my IT. And we want to, to change that trend where there's no perceived value from IT uh, with the consumers of IT and really begin to optimize service delivery and really kind of empower the end user to, to feel like they can uh, work and do the things on their own. So that gets us to my IT. So I don't know how many of you before this call actually have been exposed to my IT. Uh, I'm assuming you have probably have seen at least a press release. If you're a current BMC customer, there's a good chance you might have already seen a demo of the application. Um, you more than likely have had somebody talk about it. We've been in the press. Uh, We've had uh, Kia Benia, our CTO, actually um, make it on a couple of different nationwide uh, TV broadcasts and things of that nature talking about MyIT. It's a product that, very unlike what we've done in the past where we've developed a product and kind of kept it under cover and then brought it out when it was ready to become generally available, it's a product that once we envisioned it, we started talking about it. And so it's it's probably I, I will say it was the worst kept secret in all of uh, our space in terms of our competitors and everything. But that said, we actually took my IT. One of the things you may be familiar with is there is a uh, organization called Pink Elephant, and every year, um, early in the year, they do um, their conference, Pink, in Las Vegas. And as part of the the Pink conference, one of the things that they give out every year is an IT or service uh, service management IT uh, innovation of the year award. And so in past years it you know we've we've uh, seen different companies win the innovations it's usually been about just kind of small things like that. And one of the requirements to to participate in this award is or, or to be nominated and and have a chance at winning this award is your product actually has to be real. It actually has to be in the marketplace and ready to go. And so we we bent the rules a little bit. We went to Pink and said we're planning on releasing this uh, around the first part of April. I know it's you know January right now for your your. Um, uh, show, but we would like to nominate my IT because we think it is going to innovate and change the way we do business. And uh, so at first they were like, ah, well, maybe next year. And and somebody said, well, come give us a demo of my IT. We gave them the demo of my IT, and they absolutely said, no, you have to actually participate this year. And so uh, hands down, they gave it to us unanimously. And, of course, some of our competitions said, well, it's not fair. It's not even a product yet. 
And uh, they said, no, you don't understand. This is the most innovative directional um, product that we have seen in service management in the last 10 years. This will change the way end users interact with, with IT. And so we won that award. Uh, we've we've uh, received a lot of other recognition from different analysts. And the day we actually GA the product, we already had orders in hand from three customers. And since then, we've taken uh, at least, uh, I believe we're up to about 20 to 25 customers uh, that are moving forward with us from an IT perspective. And we've had customers come to us and say, this is really great, but we want the paradigm to do a little bit different. And so they're actually even helping us shape the, the product in some different ways from that perspective. So in just a second, I am going to take you through, and you're going to get a chance to see it live, uh, see the things that I can do with my IT. But before I do that, I want to kind of close out on one last slide here. And that is, uh, since I, you know, we looked at the, the survey results at the beginning, I noticed a number of you are IT uh, use Remedy, use some other BMC products in the in the product portfolio. So today, one of the commitments that we've made with this product is we are going to be BMC agnostic with this product. Um, now, the the quickest route to value and the fastest implementation will be, of course, if you're working on a BMC platform. But this is really an opportunity for us to. Uh, um, transform the marketplace, and by that we don't want to start boxing people in, and um, and say, okay, well, if you're only, you know, you can only use my IT unless you're, you know, on BMC Remedy 8.1 or something like that from that perspective. And so, on our first release, we are with our 1.0 release. We are today um, providing support with our Remedy. Uh, service desk application, our service request management applications, our integrations back into knowledge management, our uh, uh, BPPM solutions, and then also using um, our relationship uh, with our MDM device management ca uh, capabilities, things with Content Locker and um, the Marketplace, which is kind of a self-contained app store uh, for the enterprise. Um, but moving forward, if you don't see your product listed here, please don't don't shut me out at this point and think, okay, well, BMC is just thinking about their remedy business. They're not thinking about anything else. Uh, very quickly on toward the end of the summer, we'll actually be uh, producing our next release. Our next release will support uh, Android devices. Uh, we'll support BlackBerry through um, HTML5 support, which will also support um, uh, Microsoft Mobile uh, and desktop. So we see this also where people may decide to use this as their interface uh, into IT from a desktop perspective. Um, we'll be expanding out the the API and the framework so that we can open the framework up more. So we'll be supporting the other BMC products in the ITSM portfolio like, like Footprints, um, Service Core, and Remedy Force, uh, and uh, Remedy on Demand. Uh, and then also the idea is that we'll be able to move into some of the other products as well, things like uh, uh, ServiceNow and, and HP and others, so that if you do have another product set, we, we still feel like this is such transformational that we really want you to be able to feel like you can begin to use it even without having to transform the back end. And then maybe at some point you'll you'll be con uh, convinced to want to transform the back end. So that gives you a little bit about the roadmap, gives you a little bit about what my IT is and what BMC is thinking about. I know what you really want to do, though, is see the product. So at this point, I'm going to pull out a slide point. I'm going to take a quick sip of something. And I'm going to close this out. And I am going to go to full screen. And hopefully on your screen now you can see a blank iPad that has a notification about some shoes on eBay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So my IT application downloaded from um, the App Store. And so here's my invitation to you. I, I typically will save this until the end of the demonstration. But if you want to follow along, 
Um, and you have an iOS device, it could be an iPad, an iPhone, anything out there, as long as it runs iOS 6 and higher, uh, you can go to the App Store on Apple, uh, search for My IT, and download the app totally for free. What will happen is you'll actually be connected to a sandbox environment, a little bit different environment than what I'm going to be showing you during the demo today. But some of the things are the same. You'll notice that all the BMC offices have now been called ABC Inc. or something, or Acme Inc. Uh, but we still have all the BMC offices in there and uh, all the location stuff. But you'll be able to interact with the application. You can submit requests. Don't expect to get any service on those requests. Uh, but it will allow you to actually go in and do things with the, uh, the application. So please, please feel free to, to take us up on that offer if you want to start playing with it uh, and, and, and um, understand it. Go show it to your boss after the WebEx. Um, you know, we'd love it for you to be able to go download it. And if you've got any questions, we'll certainly try to help you out um, during the course of the call. But I am going to log in to a little bit different demo environment, but it's going to, you'll see that it looks almost identical to what you've got. And as soon as I am logged in, hold on, why am I not seeing anything here? Am I not sharing? Hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. I think it was just a little bit of a lag. Yep. Yeah, okay, we're good. Let me go back to home. Okay. So the first thing is that when I log in, I see a, a home page. Now, one of the reasons that we went native versus HTML5, which is a, a question we get a lot, is this application can work without being connected to the Internet. Um, and so you can have some of the capabilities with the application. Plus, by using native, by, by building a native app on Android or on um, iOS or you know, down the road, if we see there's a need to build a native app on BlackBerry or, or Windows Mobile, we will. It actually allows us to control the environment, but it also lets us look at the device. So if I was on an iPhone, my interface and the way it would look would be slightly different because, of course, I don't have a big screen like, a, like an iPad. So I'm very quickly, I can, I can navigate this. I see over on the left-hand side quick buttons to get things that I would expect, like assistance. On the screen, I see the health, and we'll talk about that shortly. We'll see any kind of requests that I may have within the application. We'll talk about location awareness and then help desk appointments. So let's first talk about the location awareness part. So I'm going to actually open the screen up into the full map. <coughs> and <coughs> excuse me, if I zoom out here, just like any other application, um, I'll actually, and no, I'm not sitting out there in the middle of the lake, I guess. Unfortunately, even uh, these things have a little bit of a uh, problem with, with the uh, um, GPS, but I actually do live on one of these houses here on the lake, uh, about uh, four houses over. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you because I don't have access to the mouse or anything. But the, the important thing is that it helps me understand where I am. That's one of the features of these app, uh, these devices that are just amazing, uh, in my opinion, is that it it realizes where I am and it begins to tell me things about my my area and stuff like that. Well, it doesn't really do me any good here because there's not a. I don't. I haven't. I guess I probably should for my demo load up my map of my house and put hot spots around on my house, but. Actually, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to go down to Houston. I want to go down to my Houston office. So here I can actually browse all these different locations. Um, and with this, I can actually drill into. And uh, sure enough, here's my Houston location. And if you've ever been to our Houston location, you know it's right there on uh, the tollway there in Houston. And there's the, the main building from uh, a Houston perspective. And from here, I can begin to get information about the application. So this is why I ask you whether or not you traveled or had people travel um, in your organization. Because I don't know if you're like me. When I travel, there I go into an office, and I may be an office I go to a lot, but there's always things that I need to go find out about and, and understand about.